All right, ladies, welcome this evening to the 2020 Accelerated Trading Program Overview. As I look through the list of who is on the call, I see some new names, some current names, and some old names as well. So welcome, everyone. If you are new to Forex, uh, I will open up a chart here shortly and go over a few things as it relates to Forex. But of course, we're here on the call tonight to talk about the new 2020 Accelerated Trading Program and what you guys can expect from me in 2020. If you guys have been following Girls Gone Forex or Trade Like a Girl Academy for any time over the past year, two or three, you will have noticed that of the past couple of weeks there are some changes. We are going through some structure changes, some personnel changes, management, uh, the look, the feel of everything is also changing. So uh, if you are noticing some of those differences, uh, for instance, someone posted about the network group being archived. Those are some of many of the changes that you guys will be seeing over the course of the next couple of weeks and the next couple of months. I, of course, will continue to be here to give you outstanding education as it relates to Forex, of course. And with 2020, we are expanding that out so that you guys can learn how to trade multiple assets in the same way that you trade Forex currently. And if you don't trade Forex currently, you will learn how to do all of them in one good sweep. So I just wanted to do that simple intro. If you don't know me, I am uh, Linda White. I have been in the financial markets and an entrepreneur for over 20 years. About 12, 13 years ago, I opted to solely focus on the Forex trading markets. My dad traded stocks. My brothers traded stocks. I didn't want to do that. Uh, so I wanted to do something different. But my background before that was in real estate. Hold on one moment, please. Please make sure that your devices are muted when you get on the call. So that I do not have to pause and uh, waste everyone's time trying to close it out so that we can hear each other well. Um, my background before trading was real estate. Uh, I owned a real estate investment firm and a mortgage company. So I've been in finance for most of my adult career. Uh, I ended up retiring from uh, my nine to five, if you can call it that, I worked in corporate America about a year and a half, and then I went into real estate. And when I had my son back in 2001, I never went back to corporate America. So um, I started dabbling in that kind of stuff, of course, before he was born. But uh, as of April 2001 is when I officially retired myself from corporate America and have since then had real estate business. I, of course, got into Forex, ended up starting a Forex inverse investment firm uh, that grew very, very, very rapidly. This is what I call the old Forex. What we experience now is the new Forex because in 2010, the entire realm of Forex, the way that it was being traded here in the United States, absolutely changed. So if you are new to the Forex arena, any time past October of 2010, this is all new Forex. Before that, it was absolutely the wild, wild west, and we absolutely loved it. Uh, it was both hit or miss because there were no regulations out there. So things were a little crazy, but they were crazy in a good way. And then, of course, the regulations changed. Uh, the entire landscape of Forex here in the United States in both positive and negative ways. Uh, some of the regulation was absolutely great because there were some uh, unscrupulous brokers out there that were just taking people's money. But on the flip side of that, some of the regulations did absolutely, or in my opinion, change the way that you could truly capitalize on the Forex market here trading in the United States. So it left us 
very few options as it relates to brokers here in the United States. We only have a handful now. Back uh, before 2010, there were a good hundred brokers here in the United States that you could choose from. Overseas wise, you still have a ton of brokers, but unfortunately, because of those same regulation changes in 2010, we as American citizens do not get to take advantage of the best international brokers that are out there. So for us, it's kind of slim pickings when it comes to brokers, and uh, you guys that are already trading know that. Those of you that are getting into the trading world will definitely find that out, but finding your broker and choosing your broker is all about what suits you best, and you, of course, will go through the process of doing that as you go throughout your trading journey and learn how to trade. We do learn how to trade using specific brokers because of the options that they offer. But of course, when you go live, you have the option to choose any broker that you want. So let's get into the program. In partnership with KISS Trading Academy, KISS Trading Group, I am so excited about my partnership with Santa Clara University, Quantum Strategies, and Hardy Capital Corp. This is the 2020 Accelerated Trading Program, which I call the 16-week intensive. If you guys were with us prior to this, you know that you were in class with me for about six months. So it has absolutely gone back to what the original girls went through. They were with me about 16 weeks from start to finish. So what I did was take the best of both worlds, of course, added additional information to the curriculum, the concept, made things to truly when you leave in 16 weeks, of course, a little practice has to go in, but you'll be ready to start your own trading business profitably trading in the Forex market and be confident and consistent in being able to go live. So with this disclaimer, trading Forex, CFDs, indices, metals, cryptocurrencies, and stocks can be a challenging and potentially profitable opportunity for investors. The most important part of this disclaimer is to never invest money you cannot afford to lose. We, of course, will go through the process of learning about Forex CFDs. For those of you uh, who are not familiar with CFDs, we get into that, indices, metals, cryptocurrencies. Most of you guys know what Forex are. Metals is just gold, silver, cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Ethereum, those things that have been in the forefront of our brains for the past couple of years, and then, of course, stocks. We all know about stocks. You can buy and hold. You can day trade stocks. And now here with the 2020 updated curriculum, you'll be able to do that in a one-stop shop kind of way. As always, any opinions, news, research, analysis, prices, or other information that I give to you is general market commentary and for educational purposes only. I am not an investor investment advisor, so it does not constitute investment advice. Uh, I review the markets with you guys, talk about specific trade setups, but at the end of the day, it is for you to decide whether or not you want to take that information and use it for trading or not. So the Accelerated Trading Program includes the 16-week course. That course within itself is the three phases of what some of you may have known as Trade Like a Girl Academy, Forex Essentials, Prep School, and University. So 16 weeks of that does include some of the concepts and courses from that old course. The new accelerated trading program is over 150 lessons. That will include group coaching and support, of course, pre-recorded trading trainings, live trading room, live coaching calls, a ton of private bonus content that I'm really excited about, 90-day extended access to the curriculum. So once we are done, there's a whole other phase, phase four, as I can call it, once you finish with the curriculum that you go through, and that is really getting you ready to go live with 90-day extended access so that you can continue to go back through, master the concepts that you've been taught, master the strategies that you've created or the ones that you're using so that you can go live.
the live calls and of course the coaching group will continue to be available to you post 16 weeks while you are within that 90 day extended access there is a secondary group uh, that you guys will learn about this evening if you have not already learned about it today where there is going to be a ton of information that you can get from there as well so for the ATP curriculum a lot of this if you have been through any of my training programs before will be familiar to you and there's a couple of things on here that are a little different so uh, instead of just Forex you can see that it is an introduction to financial markets so you will learn about just the basics as it relates to stocks cryptocurrencies metals energies um, all of those things that I just talked about moments ago and then of course highly Forex because I am a professional Forex trader so you can get all of the nitty-gritty from me as it relates to Forex learning how to navigate and execute trades using MetaTrader 4 multi-asset trading so with the introduction of your financial markets you will have the option in the ATP program not only to choose from our regular euro USD British pound JPY but you get to go a step further and trade gold if you want to trade gold trade Bitcoin trade U30 trade uh, S&P you name it if it's offered on the platform you will be able to trade it and of course that includes stocks Apple Goldman Sachs you name it it is available there's about 40 or so stocks that you can choose from both American and international because what is true across all of these financial markets and when you are a day trader is a chart is a chart is a chart so once you have been able to master your chart and market analysis once you have been able to master the strategy that you're using you can apply that across all of the asset vehicles out there whether it be all within a MetaTrader 4 platform if you're using ninja trader if you're um, trading with think or swim and you're doing futures or options or just stocks generally you can use the concepts that you're taught here as it relates to the fundamental and technical analysis the chart analysis the sentiment analysis in order to get in and out of your trades create good risk and money management rules across all of those asset classes I teach from a price action trading perspective so you will not hear about a lot of indicators I am uh, what some of you may know to be if you read the book a naked trader uh, I do use support and resistance or pivot points on my charts but that is all you are going to see on my chart my chart isn't completely naked so I guess you could call me a half naked trader but um, I'm strictly looking for how the price action is responding to those specific support and resistance zones or pivot point levels that are in the market in order to make my trading decisions so you will learn all about support and resistance how to plot them how to trade them you will learn about Japanese candlesticks and understand how to read the messages that the candlesticks are telling you not only those candlesticks that are right in front of you but the ones that are to the left as well because where you make your money in the Forex market is in your chart and market analysis it's not watching just now the report the an OCD report came out and of course the OCD fell it's not just about watching that and getting to a sell just because you see red on your chart it's about understanding the chart knowing where potentially the market could go so that not only you select good entries but so that you select good exits as well we of course learn about risk and money management because in Forex you can absolutely trade a lot more than what is in your account size I was on YouTube today and there was a live video of uh, an overseas trader who was trading at a thousand dollars a pip and people were commenting about it now mind you the account value was a little over half a million dollars so it absolutely makes sense if that is within your risk threshold to trade at a thousand dollars a pip 
um, for me, even at that account value size of $1,000 per pit makes me a little bit nervous. So I like to stay out of the nervous zone and into my comfort zone. But that zone of your risk, your money, money, money management is all about you and who you are not only individually but who you are as a trader and how confident you are in your trading ability and your strategies. He was just scalping. So of course, um, he was making about 13000 I think, on one trade, a couple of thousand on another trade. But at $1,000 a pip, why would you have to get 20, 50, 60 pips on a trade and risk stay in the market long enough to lose that same 20, 40, 60 pips that you're trying to gain? And that is a lot of what we will discuss in ATP curriculum as well. It's great to knock trades out of the park and get 100, 200 pips in a day if you're a swing trader and that is what your personality speaks to, then by all means. But when it really comes down to it, what we want to do is make money in the market. What we want to do is either create an income, replace an income, build wealth, something that in order to do these things, we have to be trading in a certain way consistently each and every day. Knocking it out of the park, unless it's something that you can consistently do on an everyday basis, it's going to be very difficult for you to try and create a budget out of knocking it out of the park. There's a reason in baseball that uh, there are very few guys that are those home run hitters and they have a designator, designated hitter for a reason. There's a reason in football why they call those long passes into the end zone Hail Mary passes because, of course, this, if everyone was throwing Hail Marys every day, it, every Sunday, then football would look much differently. If every player at bat was able to hit a home run on every single time they were up at bat, baseball would look very different too. So this is not a market that you have to come into and knock it out of the park to become very, very successful. And we'll talk about how just 10 to 20 pips a day you can create from a small account to a large account in a way that for me is so stress-free. Had I known about this uh, when I first started trading full-time back 13 years ago, I'd probably not be on the phone with you guys today. So risk and money management is absolutely key. We want to minimize our risk at all times so that we can maximize our reward on the other side. Choosing your assets, your style, and your trading schedule. In the previous courses, um, it really was um, taught to you from strictly a day trading perspective. In the new curriculum, you can absolutely choose which direction you want to go. I still, of course, am a day trader. I think I was in and out of my trade this morning in about two minutes, and I was absolutely happy because I didn't feel well and didn't want to trade anyway, but the strategy that I'm using is so easy. I could get up, trade, and then go back to bed. Choosing your assets, like I said, there are hundreds of assets that you can choose from. Uh, back in the old curriculum, we were limited to about 12 or so, uh, if you include the cross pairs and the major USD pairs. So that's going to be very exciting. I know some of you have kind of started to draw outside of the box and have maybe played with some of those new assets already, which they are quite exciting. But the same way that you had to learn about the Euro USD is the same way that you need to learn about your stocks, your indices, gold, you name it. Uh, so we'll go through that process. And then, of course, your trading schedule as well. If uh, some of you guys are in front of your charts for three, four, five hours at a time. That is not what time freedom is. So you really have to rethink things, and we'll talk about that as well. Um, my Even for me now, um, I don't get up. Those of you guys have, that have been with me for a long time, I used to do those 5, 6 a.m. trading days and wait for the market. I don't do that. I sleep in every single day. The dogs, of course, wake me up still. But I have teenagers now that both drive, so I don't have mama duty anymore. 
So the dogs get me up in the morning, I put them out, and I get right back in bed unless I have other business to do. But my trading really consists of about 7.45 a.m. Central Standard Time just to check the charts, see where my entries are going to be, place my alerts, and then when those alerts go off, I'm in and out of my trade typically in less than about 15, 20 minutes, but absolutely in less than an hour every single day. Um, some of the coaches that you guys are familiar with, they are raving like crazy uh, about some of the new concepts because not only does it truly allow you to get some of your freedom back, but you can decide whether to do it as a passive, more of a passive trading or active trading. I still like to pull the trigger on my trades, but uh, some of these new concepts truly would allow you to use pending orders. So for those of you that do have full-time jobs that uh, aren't able to pull the trigger because you are on the train or in a meeting or those things are going on, there's some new concepts that you'll really enjoy. Advanced chart and market analysis, I really want you guys to truly understand what the charts are telling you and truly understand that your exits are just as important as your entries. A lot of times we focus on where to get in and then we kind of fuddle with the getting out. All of that should be with precision. There's a difference in absolutely making adjustments if the market is shooting up and you want to capture more pips out of it and you're sitting there, that's one thing. But going into that trade, you definitely should be precise about where your entries are, where your exits are going to be, and then allow for that little bit of flexibility to gain more if the market is absolutely showing you those things. So we will discuss basic and advanced trading strategies. Most of you guys are familiar with the basic ones, breakout, pullback, reversal, of support and resistance zones, and then of course your reversals as it relates to your Japanese candlesticks and your continuations as it relates to your Japanese candlesticks as well. We'll talk about some advanced trading strategies. Um, I've shared pivot points with some of you. There's a couple of others that I'm pulling out of the Forex vault for you, some that uh, my coaches don't even know about yet, so I have some surprises in store for them as well. Trading strategy and plan development, of course, you, regardless of whether or not you are using someone else's strategy, and when I say that, obviously there are tons of groups on the internet where there are strategies, strategies, and strategies. If you go to Google right now and put Forex strategies in Google, you will probably get a thousand and you will not even get through them before your life expires, I guarantee it. Even if you have selected or are doing a strategy from someone else, you still have to have some understanding of that strategy. So within this new curriculum, you're still going to make whatever strategy you're using your absolute own. So BYOS in this in this uh, curriculum is bring your own strategy. If you have one that you've been working on and you like specific things about it, that's great. Knock yourself out with it, but you still have to go through the process of making it your own. Because you did not originally create it, you've got to kind of take it backwards, dissect it, and figure out how it works for you, your schedule, and your pairs. Just because a strategy works great at 8 p.m. for British Pound JPY does not mean that that strategy is going to work great for British Pound JPY at 8 a.m. And if you're not making those adjustments, then you're setting yourself up to lose trades that you should have never lost. Some strategies are just good for that one pair at one specific time, especially when you're out here getting them from the World Wide Web. So you will go through the process of making sure that you own the strategy that you are using, the strategy that you're creating. And then, of course, we have trading business development. We go through the process of truly understanding all of the things that you can do as a trader, not just being a day trader, although I personally think that is the best option out of all of them. 
there are tons out there. You, of course, can trade money for other people. I'll never do that again. I was a money manager for a couple of years, and I like to trade my own money. But you can create robots. You can be an analysis. You, if trading for banks or going to Wall Street is something that you want to do, uh, those are things, really, they just want to see experience. They want to see that you have a portfolio that you've built. Of course, you've got to go do your series and get your license and all of those things. But at the end of the day, it's going to be your consistency, your portfolio, and your experience that you build up if that's something that you want to do. Uh, again, I think trading for yourself trumps that. Not only can you make more money, but you get to do it on your own time. You don't have to show up to somewhere else from 9 to 5, but everyone has their own hopes, dreams, and desires that they want to achieve. So you'll really be able to dive into what aspect of trading really speaks to you and then create a plan of action for that. So part of your trading business development in the new curriculum actually consists of you putting together a business plan. You guys are very familiar with creating a strategy. You're familiar with creating your trading plan. But here we take it to the next level and actually create a full throttle business plan so that you can when you leave here after 16 weeks and some practice. So it's more, the curriculum itself is 16 weeks, but you're going to stay in the program about 20 weeks, maybe 22 weeks to be exact, uh, so that you can get the business plan developed, so that you can go through the different challenges of becoming an independent trader and really be ready to go live on your go live date. We, of course, will talk about profit potential for creating income and wealth. This is the 2020 plan on steroids. You guys used to hear me talk about Fibonacci being support and resistance on steroids. Well, the profit potential is more of a 2020 plan on steroids because it truly is what you create it to be. You're not confined to a 2020 plan that is three to four years. We talk about the different ways um, and you'll see a little bit of it here in the bonus section, um, how you can truly get to the point of creating profit, whether it be for income and wealth for you. And then, of course, building into that legacy so that you can teach those that are in your family, those that you love, the same skills that you have gained so that it can continue. We always have to have options in our children and our children's children need to have options. And as long as there is trading available, then this is an option that they need to have. Trading mindset, our mindset's going to be a little bit, bit different in uh, the curriculum. It truly is going to be trading mindset, the kinds of things that we go through each and every day as traders, the pitfalls, the things that we struggle with, patience. As, uh, with this new strategy, I think patience is now my best friend. But those of you who have known me over the past couple of years know that uh, patience had been a thing for me. So not anymore. It has officially been conquered, at least here lately. But dealing with all of those things that we do on a daily basis, when we want to stay in a trade longer than we're supposed to, is it fear? Is it greed? Or is it something in between that is tugging at us? And how do we figure out what that is and how to deal with it? The hesitations, the all of those things that mentally catch us up. Because at the end of the day, it is the mental side of things that will prevent us from being successful. So it's absolutely something that we have to attack every single day that we're in the markets. Some of the bonus content is the 20-day challenge, a little different than some of uh, the 20-day challenge that some of you guys are aware of and a little bit same. Um, so just a little twist to that. There is trade with the master, a little twist to that. Some of you have experienced the trade with the master. It's not that. I'm not getting up at 2 a.m. Uh, to trade. Uh, so it is a little bit different than what the original trade with the master is, but it definitely is some one-on-one -on -one time with me. Going live, of course, from the mental side of it to getting your account funded to 
figuring out which broker you want to use. Do you want to do US? Do you want to do international? How much money are you planning on funding your account with? What is your beginning pit value is going to be going to be? What is your plan of action for that first 30 days of trading, 60, 90, 120, so on and so forth. Roadmap to 100K, the 1,000 to a $1 million dollar challenge, and then, of course, my own business institute with Santa Clara University. This is a partnership that um, I've been working on the past couple of months. The, um, Santa Clara University has an entre entrepreneurship program and I was able to partner with them to not only include it within the accelerated trading program, but it's also free of charge just across the board. So I just embedded it in a specific place in the accelerated trading program in the business development section, of course, because that is where you guys can go to take get your business plan created and go through some of these courses, but it's also going to be something that is readily available to you at any time, whether you take this class or not. So we should be, they're actually designing the, in the process of designing the um, portal for us right now. So I'm very, very, very excited about that. That will be ready. It might be ready actually before the first of the year. So if it is, I'm going to roll that out before uh, we get into January 12th of the of the accelerated trading program because again it's it's absolutely free for anyone to take it so once it's available you guys can share it share it and more share it it is a great entrepreneurship that you can not only apply to your forex trading business or your trading business but for any of you guys who have the desire to own your own business it's going to take you through a ton of steps give you a bunch of tools and resources that you can use to be successful as an entrepreneur so our first spring session in 2020 there will be three sessions of the intensive program the first one is spring and that starts January 12th enrollment is open officially at the end of this call it will close January 8th because class, of course, is released. The curriculum begins being released on Saturday. I think the 11th is the Saturday, but I'm not sure. But the weekend of uh, January 12th is when curriculum will be released. So enrollment will close January 8th. Payments are due, all of that good stuff so that you guys can get started with Module 1, Introduction to the Financial Markets. There will also be a summer session as well as a fall session. So there will only be three offerings um, throughout the year. Uh, so if you can't make January, then definitely prepare yourself for May. And if you can't make May, I believe the third session starts in September. So spring, summer, and fall is when the course will be offered. For tuition, tuition is $1,500. That includes all of the stuff that we just talked about previously. There are little stars, of course, at the end of each line because there is a student handbook. If you have not had a chance to read the student handbook, um, you guys definitely will have access to that as well so that you can read the little starred notes that are within the student handbook, not only about preparing yourself for the course, but all of the little things. So the $1,500 one-time payment. Uh, there are early bird discounts. You guys will get an early bird discount tonight. If you're military, there's a discount for you. If you are a current or former student, there is a discount for you as well. Uh, member discounts, because we've partnered with some other groups, then uh, there's some discounts that you could also qualify for that. A coupon code is required in order to use or get the discount. So at the end of this call this evening, there'll be a coupon code given for the early bird slash early Black Friday discount that's going to be good till the end of the month. If you choose to do a monthly payment plan option that is available since the course is four months, then the monthly payment plan option is a four-month payment plan at $4.25 a month. Uh, the coupon codes do not 
um, qualify or um, you can't do the monthly payment plan and the coupon code, however that makes sense. Coupon codes cannot be used for the monthly payment plan. It's only for the one-time payment. One-on-one -on -one coaching and feedback is always available. It will be available uh, in the accelerated trading program for an additional fee. So if you need weekly one-on-one -on -one coaching, then you have the option to pay for that. If you need it once a month, if you need it twice a week, whatever, because what I have found is that everybody is different. Some people need it, some people don't. So I was able to lower the cost of everything that's being offered by making it a separate um, cost as opposed to making people who may not need it pay for it anyway. There is an early bird Black Friday special, like I just mentioned, that is uh, $1,200 paid in full. It expires 12-1-2019, so that's going to be a $300 off. This is for those that are brand new to the program. If, again, you are a current or previous student, you guys qualify for a different special and it depends on who you are and what you are. Alumni obviously has gone through the entire program or if you've just gone through the 2019 ATP program, then you've gone through basically the entire program so you'll get a discount code that basically is allowing you access to all of the new concepts. Um, so you guys will have to get that separately from this evening in uh, one of the groups. So this is something that you would share with those that are brand new coming in. If you go to http forward slash bit dot lee forward slash 2020 spring ATP, that will take you to the website where you can pay for the course. The coupon code is lowercase eb2020, and a Again, that expires on 12-1-2019. Anyone can use it uh, as long as they go through the website and, of course, put the EB2020 code in, then that $300 discount will apply to their purchase. There is a new trading group. Some of you guys heard about it today and were invited into it today. If you were not, that group is the KISS Trading Group, Trading Reimagined, Keep It Safe and Simple, made by traders for traders. And that is facebook.com forward slash groups, K-I-S-S -S Trading. So make sure that you join that group and share that group for any additional information and discounts, um, especially those of you that are current or previous students, you will go there to get those. And of course, coming soon, the KISS strategy, if you guys have been following me on Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you definitely should. I've been giving some updates about the KISS strategy as well as the KISS robot, You've seen me hashtag morning kiss and talk about the kiss robot that is currently trading live. It started trading live the first of this month. It has one loss so far this month, and as of today, I believe it is up 27%. I don't like talking about percents very much because it's all relative to what your account value is and the pip value that you're trading at. So this particular robot uh, started with a $500 account at on the 1st of November. It is trading at a dollar a pip, and it is currently up 27%. So, which I share that with you for that specific reason. When you hear people talk about the percentages that they're making or what they did or did not do, you always have to get those extra details because someone who started with a $100 account that has made 100% in a month is going to be very different than someone who started with a $5,000 account and made 100% in a month. The leverage is going to be different. The pit value is going to be different. So make sure that you're asking those kinds of questions because that hype nonsense is still out there. Um, 
and sometimes it comes from sources that you think wouldn't do it, but you, you got to read between the lines and see what's really, really going on. The KISS on the KISS strategy last month on a thousand dollar account uh, was only trading at a dollar a pip and it did 17%. I think it ended the month at 17%. It ended up with five losses for the month of October. So, but we're testing the robot out on live and so far so great. So uh, that is something that you guys definitely can look forward to. That is one of the concepts that uh, we, I, I truly cannot say enough about uh, this new strategy and concept, but it definitely took some work in really figuring out the best way to use it, the best currency pairs to use it, the best time to use it. There was a lot that went into it. So how it's actually going to be delivered, I don't know as of yet, but uh, that's definitely something that's coming down the pipeline come January, whether it's going to be um, in algo form or mirror form or a class where you guys learn it or uh, just get access to the ro uh, robot, I have no idea, but we'll see how that plays out over the course of the next few months. If you want to follow it on my effects book, it's absolutely hooked up to my effects book. Uh, just post in the, the group so that you can get the link so that you can follow it and see what it's doing each and every day. My little morning kiss robot, I like it. And then, of course, the $500, 10 pips a day, 500,000 in 500 days. That, I won't say anything else. Just read it again and again and again, and we'll talk about that in the very near future. All right. Does anyone have any questions and answers before I go into the charts or before I lose my voice? Because I hear it already. If you have any questions, you are welcome to post it in the chat. I think I have covered everything. I will go back to the KISS trading group for you to join. The coupon code is EB, stands for early bird. So EB2020, and that, um, that part of the presentation will be posted in the group as well so that you can share it and uh, take advantage of it. You have um, until the end of the month to do it. So I have not, Christy, I have not posted it in the group yet, but it's going to be in the, the KISS trading group. Uh, um, uh, hold on, let me pull up this chat so I can see the questions a little better. Mm. All right, I think I saw someone say something about two KISS trading groups. So this one is KISS trading. Facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash KISS trading. And that will be posted um, on the Trade Like a Girl Academy Facebook page. Oh, one is at the Academy. Yes, you're right, Yelly. One is KISS Trading Academy and the other is KISS Trading Group. So you can like both, join the group. Um, you stated about the material for previous students that we will be able to access, so that's updated material. So all of the information regarding the um, additional assets and the um, introduction to the financial markets is going to be new material for you. I'd actually have to see, Rakesha, when you, what class you 
finished with because the curriculum has changed. Uh, the, the curriculum is almost completely different than probably the first three classes. So um, if you didn't take a class in 2019, then it's different um, as well. But definitely over the past two sessions, I've completely updated prep school and I changed uh, the university platform as well. So um, the difference in this one is the Forex Essentials is going to have that multi-asset stuff. Um, that's going to be the difference with Essentials. Prep school will be different depending on when you came in and when you finished. And then university is going to be different as well. So that's why the, the discount is going to be different depending on if you just finished up. There's some ladies who just went through the ATP program. So the only thing that they don't have is the multi-asset. And um, I think that's all that they might be missing, maybe a couple of the bonuses. So the, and they because they just completed or in the process of completing ATP right now. Um, I see Janine's name, but I don't see her question. Do we go to GGFX alumni group for the code as former student? Uh, no, Janine, go to the add yourself to the KISS trading group. That um, GGFX alumni group is also going to be archived. So let everybody know as well. Um, sunrise. Uh, the coaching part, will there be mentoring after completion? You can have mentoring whenever you want mentoring. From the perspective of ATP, Sun actually was just going through ATP and uh, she was getting the weekly feedback and coaching. So in the 2020 program, there's not going to be weekly feedback and coaching like you were getting before. So if in week one, two is a breeze for you, and then you hit week three and you're like, oh, wait a minute, I need some help, then, of course, you can reach out for coaching for week three. Week four, five, and six are a breeze. Week seven, you start stumbling a little bit, then you can reach out in week seven. So you'll reach out for coaching as you need it. Some will, some won't. It's available for those who desire to take advantage of it. Um, it's not, Sun asked whether or not it was self-paced. It's not self-paced from a perspective of yes and no. Let me say it that. It is self-paced from a perspective of there is not going to be anyone that is pulling up your MyFX book to see if you executed 14 trades this week. That's not going to happen from week to week. However, if you are someone who wants additional coaching, then it behooves you to take and do what you're supposed to do on a weekly basis. So when either myself or one of the coaches does go look at your MyFX book, they can see consistently and can actually coach you on something because you have done the actual work. Asking for coaching when you have done no work, you're wasting their time and you're wasting your money. So you, it is still, this is definitely more of an honor system as it relates to you getting the work done because again, what we want to accomplish here is to become good traders. And in becoming good traders, we have to do the work, we have to practice, we have to be in the charts, period. There are no exceptions to that rule. However, if obviously you get behind a couple of weeks and you need to catch up on your own accord, then that's also available to you. So there's still going to be a drip schedule because when I go into the groups, when I have the live trading rooms, I'm going to be discussing and I'm going to be going over the concepts that have been released. So uh, it will be on that regular weekly schedule, module one, module two, module three, so on and so forth. And when I do go in, we'll talk about all of the things that we've discussed. So if we're on module five and I'm doing a live trading room and you're on module two, 
then obviously that's going to be a problem for you. I'll, I'll be discussing what is, is current, what is available based on where you should be within the lesson. So this is definitely more of a um, advanced, if that's what it is. It is an accelerated trading program that you absolutely have to commit to so that you can stay on task. And at the end of these 16 weeks, you go through your business plan, your whole plan of getting it together, and then about four weeks later, you go live. That is what the goal is, to be ready to go live in 16 to 20 weeks. The only thing that should stop you from going live, it really would be a financial thing, but here we are talking about it today. If you save $20 every week for the next 16 weeks, the next 20 weeks, you or plus, you have your $500 that you need in order to go live. So really forward thinking about if this is what you truly desire, then there are certain things that you have to do. We're not going to want to do them. I get it. I didn't want to get up with my headache this morning and trade, but I absolutely did because there are certain things that, A, this is my livelihood, so if I don't trade, I don't eat kind of situation, but there are things that I want to accomplish. There, I want to. There are things that I desire for you guys to accomplish as well. Uh, so we all have to put in the work to make that happen. Um, Rakisha, what would you advise about a refresher? Not sure how to access my past material. I only saved my beginning material in university. I'm missing my prep school, which I feel is needed. Um, so from a refresher perspective, Rakisha, because as a um, alumni student, you guys are getting the discount starting from scratch and going through week by week is going to be the best refresher for you. Obviously, the whole what is a PIP thing, you, that's, that's definitely a week that you can sit out, <laughs> no doubt about it. But because it's an accelerated course, we start trading in week two. So we are in the charts executing trades in module two, as opposed to, I think in your class, we didn't start executing trades until like week four or week five. So prep school curriculum starts in week four. So you, we have our introduction to financial markets. We get on to MetaTrader 4. It's going to be obviously a different platform that offers all of the assets, so that's something that's going to be new unless you're already trading on that platform. That's going to be something that's new that you get to know and execute because that is, that is one thing that you absolutely have to learn about these different assets. The way that we count pips with EURUSD is different than we count kips, pips with gold, is different than you count pips with U30, is different than you count with stocks. So there's still a learning curve when you're going through the multi-assets, even though we're still going to use fundamentals and technicals and price actions in order to execute our trades. So you'll be in prep school curriculum before you blink. Um, yes, Christy. Uh, the alumni group will be archived. That means that there will be no new activity in it. It will still be there for you to go in and look at videos and all that good stuff that's already there, old posts, those types of things, but there won't be any new posts, new activity in there. Um, Nicole, you say that you have never traded before. I will definitely go into the charts in just a second. ATP also covers the basics. Oh, yes, absolutely, Rochelle. We start with the basics in week one. You learn, you, you got to learn the basics before we get into the trading. So you'll learn about downloading the platform. You'll learn how to navigate the platform. You'll learn how to execute trades with the platform. The basics is really, for me, the basics is more about understanding the markets and the basics of the software. Once you understand the market, and you don't have to master that knowledge, once you have an understanding of how you 
make money and lose money, know how to click a button to get in and out of a trade and what you're looking for to get in and out of a trade, that's when we go into what we call the prep school curriculum. And the prep school curriculum is when you learn how to read a chart. You learn how to plot out a chart. You learn how to label a chart. You learn how to actually see. I'll pull it up for you. You'll learn how to actually look at everything that's going on here and know whether the market's in what we call consolidation, whether the market's in an uptrend, whether the market's in a downtrend. Based on those market conditions is how you decide what kind of trade you're going to enter. If the market is in consolidation, which I'm sure we can find one that is in con tight consolidation. Looks like the markets were moving this evening. Okay, here's one where the markets are in consolidation. This is what we call consolidation. Because the market is currently in consolidation, we only have two real options as it relates to our trades. We can get in going down if the market breaks out of consolidation. We can get in going up if the market breaks up through consolidation. So those are all the concepts that you learn as part of the second phase of the curriculum so that you can actually execute trades based on a system and a strategy and logic as opposed to just, oh, look, it's red. Let me get in a buy or the opposite. Oh, look, it's red. Let me get into a sell. Oh, look, it's green. Let me get into a buy. Um, so yes, Nicole, that kind of answers your question as well. I absolutely start, and the course is absolutely designed from the very beginner who doesn't know what a pip is and has never looked at a chart ever in their life to uh, someone like the alumni students that are coming back to get refreshed on it. That first couple of weeks, they'll be bored uh, so they can sit those out. But once we get into the chart and market analysis, that kind of stuff, is, is really where you dive in pretty deep. But you'll learn step by step. What you do have to do, Nicole, is absolutely commit to the process. It's not easy. It definitely requires work on your part and commitment on your part. If you put in the work, if you commit, then learning it, I'm not going to say is easy, but it does make the process of learning easier. You have to mimic what you see, watch the videos, read the materials, watch the videos more than once, read the materials more than once. It's a class. You're learning a new language. So if you went to Spanish and didn't show up for six weeks and you didn't know Spanish before, when you took the final, you would fail. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. The same thing applies here. If you're sitting here never looking at a chart, never executing trades, never asking questions, then you're not going to learn the information. The risk of repeating the course if you are not successful, is that still possible? No, ma'am. You are solely responsible for your success or failure of the course as it relates to what happens over the course of the 16, 20 weeks that you're in the course. If after uh, you've done your 16 weeks and you've done the additional 90 days access and you still have no idea what's going on, uh, that is a you thing, not the course thing. So it goes back to what I was just sharing with Nicole. You have to commit, you have to do the work, and you have to take the time to ask for help when you need help, get your coaching if you need it, listen to the videos 10 times if you need to listen to the videos. Everything that you need to be successful in trading is going to be within this course. The only common denominator that I can't do anything about is going to be you as an individual and the mindset and the way that you apply yourself to the course. So mindset is the number one reason people fail. It's the number one reason people fail this course, too. So it's about you doing the work 100% every single time. Uh, as alumni, will we be able to take advantage of the discount during any session we choose? So Yalit, the price that you guys get is going to cover uh, the entire ATP. What you choose to do with it as it is released is absolutely up to you. 
So uh, if you want to sit, you'll be part of the group too. But like I said, the outside of the introduction to financial markets, that downloading of the MT4, how to calculate PIPs, all that stuff is stuff that you guys know. So sitting that part out, I expect you to sit that part out. Once we get into some of the new stuff that I introduced in prep school, definitely once we get into the new concepts of university is where you definitely want to come in, participate, take advantage. The course is there. I'm going to be there. It's going to be your responsibility, again, to do the work, ask the questions, and participate as we go through each of the modules, if they apply to you, since, of course, you're doing it as a refresher versus someone who's learning it from scratch. There's always an assessment um, at the end of each section. That assessment um, is not for me to tell you that you are eligible to go to the next stage or phase. Uh, you, as an individual, absolutely want to pass that assessment so that you can go prepared into the next phase. So if, by chance, you get to the end of prep school and your charts and your journals and all that stuff is still looking crazy, you know that more than we know that. And we would have hoped that during the process that you've already gotten the coaching and the help that you need so that you don't get to prep school and you're like, oh my God, what am I going to do going into university? I have no idea how to plot a support zone. You, you shouldn't want to get to that level. But if by chance, because I'm sure it will happen, if you get to prep school and you're still lost in the sauce and university curriculum uh, gets started, that um, access is going to be available to you. Is it going to behoove you to jump into university if you're still struggling with support and resistance zones? Absolutely not. So if you find yourself in that position, get a coach, go back through the coursework so that you can get yourself caught up so that you can get into university and be comfortable. There is no reason for you to get to week 8, get to week 10, get to week 12, and still feel like you don't have a handle of things. Oh, yeah, Yali, whenever you want to take it, it's fine. That, that just, the price for alumni is going to be the same regardless. Oh, Christy, I understand. I feel the, well, no, actually, I hadn't been in alumni in a long time, but I definitely understand. But it will still be there, and you guys have your other groups. So, to look at, uh, not to post anymore, it's going to get archived. All right, did I miss anyone's question? Let me go back up really quickly. MetaTrader went rogue. Oh, wow. Uh-uh, Christy. I'm um, definitely MetaTrader 4. Um, if your computer went through an update, that might be the issue. But what I would probably do is just delete it completely off the computer. If you have templates and stuff that are already on your computer, make sure you save those to a different file than your MetaTrader 4 file. So for instance, go in here, open data folder. I think you guys can see this pop up. Um, in the data file folder under MQL, this is where all your experts are. This is where your indicators are. Any presets, um, templates are somewhere else. Um, but go in here and get those files and save them somewhere else if you do have templates, if you do have presets, so that you don't lose everything completely. And then delete it reinstall it, and then you can come back to normal as if you had never missed anything. You couldn't see the pop-up. So if you go to File, oh, let me see, Open Data Folder. I think I'd probably have to share it with you. Let's see if we can find it. Select Items to Share. Found it. Apply. There it is. You should be able to see it now. So all I did was go File, Open Data Folder. That's the same process that you use to add EAs 
to your MetaTrader 4. And then here are your templates. So here you can see your templates. So I would save any of those here. You see red gray, red green, GGFX, and then all the ones that come standard with the system. So just copy and then paste it somewhere else. So that's with your templates. And then if you have any indicators or any presets, anything else that you use, I don't have any in here. Any experts, you can save them from here too so that when you delete it off your computer, you would do the exact same thing. You would go, once you re-download it, you would go file, open data, and then you're going to copy, paste it back into that folder so that your MT4 will basically look the exact same without you having to go back through all the work. So if you save your support and resistance zones and that kind of thing, you definitely want to save those templates for yourself. So you don't have to do all the work. Keep it simple. That is 2020. That is our absolute mantra. Keep it simple. Whatever you want to use as the other S is up to you. But keeping everything simple. You're trading the way that you monitor the charts, the way that you're getting in and out of the charts. Gone are the days of being frustrated in front of a chart. Yes, ma'am, Christy, we're still using MetaTrader 4. Um, I saw that question. Okay, I think that's it. All right, so for the newbies that are on the call, I'm going to do a quick Forex overview. Again, understand that a chart is a chart is a chart. So even though we're looking at currency pairs, these same concepts apply if you're looking at Bitcoin, if you're looking at stocks, if you're looking at U30 indices, if you're looking at gold. Do I have gold on here? I don't have gold on here. But I can pull up a couple of other ones. All right. So, new ladies, what you are looking at right now is a demo account. Uh, this is through a broker called Trader's Way. This is not the broker that we'll be using in 2020 because uh, they do not offer all of the goodies that we want to trade, and I want you guys to learn how to trade so you can truly find an asset that speaks to you so that you can truly create a schedule of freedom, both from a time perspective and from a financial perspective. This right now that we're looking at is just regular currency pairs. When you are trading currency pairs, you are always trading one currency versus the other. What you do to one side, you are automatically doing the opposite to the other side. So here in this top left-hand corner, you can see that it says USD CAD. Your asset will always be here in the, up, in the upper left-hand corner. So because it says USD CAD, this means that we're trading the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar. Because the US dollar is listed first, that is considered our base currency. And that means when you're looking at these candlesticks, when we see green candlesticks, the green candlesticks represent upward movement. So that means that the US dollar is moving up and the Canadian dollar is moving down. It is the base currency that runs the direction, the main direction, that is. The red candlesticks are indicative of the market moving down. So again, since we're trading U.S. dollar versus the Canadian dollar, all of these red candlesticks are going to be indicative of the dollar moving down. In any chart, doesn't matter what market you are in, the price action of a chart can only do three things. It can go up. Well, I guess it can do four things if we're talking about stocks. It can go up, it can go down, it can go sideways, and it can stop. That would be our fourth option as it relates to markets that close. Currencies, cryptocurrencies, 
they are markets that are open 24 hours a day. So there is no 8 to 5 trading and you're done, the markets stop moving like you see in stocks. This USD CAD is going to continue to go 24 hours from Sunday at market open until Friday at market close. So you can truly, if you wanted to, trade 24 hours, five days a week. However, just because the market is open and available and accessible to trade 24 hours a day doesn't mean that it's good trading conditions, like right now. These are not good trading conditions in the USD CAD pair, so we wouldn't want to be sitting down at 8 o'clock Central Standard Time trading USD CAD. But we have many, many other assets to choose from. We have Tokyo pairs to choose from. Right now the Tokyo market is open. The Tokyo market has been open um, about two hours now. So as these 24-hour markets remain open, then of course some countries go to sleep, some countries wake up, banking centers close down, banking centers open up. So the Tokyo market is open and ready for business. So you'll typically around this time of day see more movement in the Tokyo pairs. The Japanese yen is the Tokyo pair. So this particular pair is the US dollar versus the Japanese yen. US dollar is the base currency pair, which means the red candlesticks represent the US dollar going down. The green candlesticks represent the US dollar going up. The same that we saw on USD CAD. If the US dollar was listed last, here we have Euro USD, the Euro dollar versus the US dollar. Then now the Euro dollar is the base currency pair. The red candlesticks represent the euro going down. The green candlesticks represent the euro going up. So as part of module one and module two, you will learn all about looking at the charts, understanding what the base pair is, what the quote currency is. If we're talking about currency pairs, the same would apply to cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin versus the US dollar, Bitcoin versus Ethereum, we're always going to be trading when it comes to currencies one versus the other. And in movement with your stocks and your indices uh, and your gold, you're looking at still a comparison, but we're really focused on what the price action is doing. Is it moving up? Is it moving down? Or is it moving sideways? If it's moving up, then naturally we're going to want to buy, but we're going to be looking for specific things that tell us, yes, this is a good time to buy. If the market's moving down, we want to sell. We absolutely want to sell. All of these markets that we trade in, it doesn't matter whether it's stocks, it doesn't matter whether it's cryptos, it doesn't matter whether it's metals, it doesn't matter whether it's traditional currencies. We can make money when the market goes up. We can make money when the market goes down. The way that we do that is to buy when the market goes up, to sell when the market is going down, based on specific things that we're going to look for that tells us when we need to be getting into the trade and where we need to be getting out of the trade so that we can make profit and where we need to protect ourselves in the trade as well. Because again, we want to make sure that we are minimizing our risk so that we can maximize our reward. So a lot of confusion comes in when people start trading Forex is they think they have to buy something in order to sell it or they can't sell it because they didn't own it first. That's not the case. What we are buying and selling is solely going to be based on price action and the amount of money that's in our account. So here you can see there's definitely some red movement. A this is indicative of bearish movement or downward movement with the euro dollar. The euro has absolutely been bearish against the US dollar these, this past week. Last week it was a doozy of downward movement. So right now we're starting to bottom out looks like, but if we were trading last week sometime, we absolutely would have taken advantage of the opportunity to get into sales, sold the euro versus the US dollar, 
and we would have been able to profit. From top to bottom last week, looks like, or even from top to today, looks like the euro fell about 166 pips. Is that correct? Nope, looks like it fell more than that. Sixty-seven. Nope. Yeah, that's right. About 166 pips. The euro fell against the U.S. dollar since last week. So for us in our trading, if we're just trading currencies, let's just use a round number of 100. When you're trading, you based on your account size, and based on your risk appetite, based on your risk comfort zone, you get to dictate how much money you gain or how much money you lose on every single trade that you enter into. So if I'm a conservative person, then I'm going to trade at a lower value. If I'm more aggressive, then I'm going to trade at a higher level. But I'm still going to be smart, and I'm still going to be safe. And I'm still going to keep things simple with my trading. So from a conservative perspective, if I was trading this movement down and I sold when the market told me to sell and I ended up capturing 100 pips, then from a conservative perspective, the very, very lowest increment that I can trade at is 10 cents a pip. So if I made 100 pips selling the euro dollar, then I'm simply multiplying 100 times 10 cents, and that is my profit. If for whatever reason, and I actually know someone who did this, very, very sad day, a very, very over leveraged account, someone bought here at the top, and of course the market came tumbling down. They lost quite a bit in their account because they bought instead of sold. If you're buying, you're anticipating that the market is going to keep going up. In this particular case, it hit a level of resistance and came crashing down almost. And so that same gain that we would have made in 100 pips going down, they lost in 100 pips going down because they were buying. So the same dollar amount that you could gain is always the same dollar amount that you can lose depending on which direction in the market you're going and, of course, whether or not what your pip value is. So if I'm trading at a dollar a pip, then I made $100 if I sold. If I bought and my stop loss was set at 100 pips for some reason, then I would have lost $100. If I'm trading at $5 a pip, then I would have gained $500. If I had sold, I would have lost $500 if I had bought. And we would have minimized our losses better than that, so we would not, well, most of us would not have lost that much, but unfortunately I do know someone who lost quite a bit last week being on the wrong side of euro. So your increments and how much you gain or lose is going to be equivalent to what your PIP value is. $10 a PIP, same thing applies. $20 a PIP, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> same thing applies. So that is how we ultimately look to get into the markets. We're looking for the market to be going in a specific direction so that we can buy when the market is going up or breaking out into an up. We're going to sell when the market is going down or when the market is breaking down into a sell. If the market is going sideways very, very tightly, we're not going to do anything at all because nine times out of ten, it is not worth the risk. If it's going sideways in a pretty big range, kind of like this was doing before the fall, then we can definitely take advantage of some of this movement if the market is in a wide range. But what you will learn how to do is to define what the conditions are in the market, and then based on those market conditions, you're able to make good trading decisions. High probability trades that are more likely than not going to lead to success for you.
You'll also learn how to read fundamentals. This candlestick here was based on a fundamental report that came out. You can see here that the market was moving sideways before the report came out. It broke down below the bottom of that consolidation, so we absolutely would have gotten into a sell, and we might have been able to profit about 20 pips or so on the break of consolidation here. You'll understand what that means. You'll know what to look for so that you're, again, making good quality trading decisions. And we learned that, how to read those charts, how to plot specific zones on our chart, how to make decisions based on those zones, understanding what some of these candlesticks mean, whether it is an indication that the bears may be taking over, an indication that the bulls are taking over, all of these things to help us make good trading decisions in getting in and out of the market, because that is what we do as day traders. We buy and we sell based on the market conditions that are presented in front of us so that we can make a profit. We as day traders are what the world calls speculators. So Warren Buffett is a speculator. George Soros is a speculator. They're speculators that have undeniably much larger pockets than all of us combined. But nonetheless, when they are in the markets, they are in the markets to profit. So in order for us to profit, we have to understand the dynamics of the market, and then we have to make good trading decisions based on what the market is presenting to us. Look at this gap right here. Is that a market? No. Hmm. Interesting. That's very interesting. You'll learn about those things too. There are anomalies that sometimes happen in the market and you as a trader, you are also a researcher. It is your job as a trader, if this is the currency pair that you're trading, it's your job to figure out what has caused this gap in the market by looking at some of the fundamentals. This was after the report so that's what's making this even more interesting, and I don't believe any of the other yen pairs have that gap. So it's definitely Aussie dollar related, but that gap is not in the Aussie dollar versus the U.S. dollar. So little things like that as a trader you see, you pick up on, um, especially if this is your currency pair. Obviously, I know how to read a chart so I can see it across all the pairs. If I was an AUD JPY trader, I absolutely would want to know what the heck happened to cause this so that I can make a good trading decision, especially if this is my trading time. Is this an indication that the market is going to go back up and close this gap? Is this an indication that the, sell, the bears or the sellers are really, really in control? They, they brought the market down, pulled back up, and ultimately the market's going to go back down. All of those things, as traders, we need to be able to research and understand about what's going on with the currency pairs that we're trading, or the stocks that we're trading, or the cryptocurrencies, or gold, silver, US 30, S&P, what have you. I do, I actually have, uh, thank you, Christy, I have um, lemon, I have lemon, chamomile, and lavender tea, and then I ran my um, little vaporizer from Janine last night. I think it was too close to my face, though, because I was almost, and that thing had tea tree oil, eucalyptus, and something else in it as well, but yeah, I'm getting rid of this thing naturally. And I got my favorite vitamin C gummy bears. I ordered them on Amazon, and I just ate them up, by the way, because, you know, I always tell you guys to get them for the kids. They now have vitamin D in them as well, so they are perfect for all of us, and they taste yummy, yummy, yummy. They're my favorite. If you don't know what I'm talking about, they are the little critters vitamin C gummy bears that have zinc, and now they have vitamin D in them as well. I ate about 10 of them today. 
Yes, Kendra, my favorite. And I think the bottle's bigger, too. All right, ladies, thank you so much for joining me. Um, new ladies, if you guys have any questions about anything that I have said this evening or anything I just showed you on the chart, feel free to ask. Good to see my alumni ladies. Uh, you guys had lots of jokes this week. I'm going to remember that. <laughs> So I will um, see you guys in KISS trading group. If you guys aren't in there already, um, there are, actually let me pull it up, there are tons of goodies in there. And I will be adding more. So I know that over the years we've talked about tax stuff and different things like that. So this group is going to have all of that good stuff and more. Let me pull that up real quick. Uh-oh, I see something about China going on while I'm pulling that up. Mm -mm. I've been working on some international projects, so I've been having to keep up more with the China stuff than I had before. So this is the KISS trading group, both for the new and the old. There is a section basically for everything. I have not filled in all of it, and if you guys have an idea or want to create a topic, you're more than welcome to do so. But here you can see if you do a search for almost anything, something will come up. So here you can see green trader tax. They actually had a call earlier today so that you can get help with your taxes as it relates to trading. Do you get to write stuff off? We're getting to the end of the year. So your losses, your gains, what the heck are you going to do with them? Not only is that section there, but if you go to files, there's also a trader tax strategy for 2019 here as well that you guys can go through so that you can figure out what you're going to do with your gains and your losses. If there are um, other subjects in here, there is a section for beginners. Uh, there is, of course, broker information. I'll be posting some trade setups, other trading tools, market news, all of that good stuff. But if there's some sections in here, or information that you want me to add or need to know, here you go. Here's all of them. So here you can see there's swing trading stuff in here, day trading, stuff about each of the different assets that you'll be learning about will be in here as well, trading strategies, psychology, all of that stuff. If there's stuff you want to add into any of these sections that you know has been very, very helpful to you, you're more than welcome to do that. If there's a section that we need to add or a topic that I need to add, definitely let me know so that this truly can be a group where you can get all the information that you need for your trading business, not just day-to-day -day stuff because there's so much more that goes into truly running a trading business and being okay. We, of course, need to profit, but we know that there's expenses and losses and all of those things that go with it as well. So you'll be able to get access to all of that stuff right here. And we'll grow this group bigger than the ones that we've had before, especially when we get to the KISS stuff. You're going to love it. I was telling someone, who was I telling? I think I was telling... Lindsay, I think I was telling Lindsay uh, last week or so that I thought my trading life was easy before. This truly has changed my entire trading life. I think I'm more bored now than I was before, but I absolutely have added a thousand more things to my plate. So 
I still have no time to do anything. <laughs> All right. All right, ladies, so I will see you guys in the group, and I am still adding stuff, get it, still getting things done. Um, so in the process, be patient as we go through this um, deconstruction and reconstruction process is probably the best way for me to describe it. But I am absolutely excited about the things to come for you guys because of it. So I will see you guys in the group, and I will get everything posted that you need. Have a great evening.